Oh, <laughs> hey, he was getting it though, bro. Okay, Damn, they just get the right <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Clips? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. We're in the Clips. Hey. Back to ladies and gentlemen, another video today. You feel me? Best news bloopers of July 2023. Back with some more news bloopers. One of our hottest dog on summers, man. I tell you, in Houston, man, we was just looking <clears> at um a news, a clip saying that we had one of the hottest summers or months in record history in Houston. Mm -hmm. It was like 100 all summer. Just yep. maybe two or three days when it was like 97. But yep. other Sounds than that, right. it was 10 something. Sounds so, about right, man. We need some fun right now. It's time for some cool, yeah, chill air and some bloopers. That's all I need. You feel me? So mm -hmm. we're gonna get into this one right now, man. Make sure I want to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and let's go, baby. Let's do this thing. Next on News Be Funny, Llama what? goes to a wedding. Goat gets a ponytail. Grandparents race. <laughs> all of what? this and more. These niggas now. should not be it's out there running, bro. Colorado Springs, and it's not a good start to the day for anchor Matt Croshaw. Nursing home. Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Good morning. I'm Kasha Carriage. <laughs> I'm what Matt Groeschel. It's definitely <clears throat> Monday, July 24th. We got this, guys. It's going to be a hot week. Everyone in What's McKinney going is on? dead. Yeah. The temperature, yeah. the, uh, the heat index it. right now in McKinney is 10,000. That's what how is that? we feel. 101,105. It's the fact that everybody's it's just hot in McKinney. You know, honey, honey. Meanwhile, no elsewhere, it was another morning altogether at WDRB in Louisville, Kentucky. Jacqueline Gwynn Billaroa. Gwen Villarreal. Gwen Villarreal. Gwen Villarreal is Chief Jacqueline Gwen Villarreal. Gwen Villarreal. They couldn't get the name Gwen right. Gwen Villarreal. Gwen Villarreal. Would... Gwen Villarreal. We're going to bring our expert right now. He he is an expert on pronunciations. Jude Redfield <laughs> is going to pronounce what is the it? Chief's last name. Chief I'm Jacqueline, Jacqueline Gwen. Gwen. Exactly. I'm a little bit concerned <laughs> as I mentioned <laughs> <laughs> about hail being as large as maybe ping pong saw it. Ping pong ball ball. That is a tongue twister. Let me try that again. It's early. Ping pong ball size and there diameter. We go. You That's you go. big enough to do damage. Oh, for I'm sure. TV's Rafael Sanchez, and these are your letters. Yep, get you some water. Some water ah, please. He said, Somewhere Can I get some tequila, out in please? Empty mm, in okay. Melbourne, news correspondent Shima Khalil had an important update of her own. Well, they've been saying that the Commonwealth Games are going to be all cost and no benefit for Victoria. And this is what the state premier has basically said. Is the reason they are no longer hosting oh, the Commonwealth no. Games in 2026. What happened to the audio? The contract. Somebody the put the chipmunk filter on. Oh, that's wild. They said, as it stands, this budget has tripled. That's the yeah, apologies for technical problems though. This is a oh. developing story. We'll have more on that throughout the <laughs> <Dog>. breakfast. You don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> He threw it out the room. With a gap before Dog. the next commercial, oh, there was funny. time at last for anchor Logan Byrne to explore a potentially <clears throat> newsworthy story for the evening news. I think the thoroughbreds are all that run at the <laughs> Emerald Downs racetrack in Washington State. Hold your horses. This this gets funny. <laughs> this oh, is Logan's no. favorite story oh, of the day. Take goodness. a look. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, hey, he was getting it though, bro. <laughs> okay, Damn, they just get to right <laughs> <down> <laughs> and <watch Richard laughs> got the tummy. <laughs> Oh, okay. This was tearing up the remaining ligaments they had in a long time. <laughs> they made a doctor's appointment right after that. <laughs> I looked it up. Oh, They're okay. Look at the lady this laughing. Shot. She She's brought like, a purse with her. See ya. Look at he was gone. Yeah, he was. He's like, I'm going to win this. Oh. <laughs> just cut it. Oh. Okay. I couldn't have reported on this, bro. Oh, it doesn't happen I often. Can't. <laughs> we got to talk about the snow pack. They, they scheduled a doctor's appointment that day. 
<laughs> and the new Torchy's Tacos is opening up in Midlothian today. Ooh, the Torchies. location is on Huguenot Road, so be sure to get there early. Woo! The first 100 guests win free queso for a whole year. Yeah, the grand wow. opening starts at 10. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody getting fired. How, how about we just kind of both hang out here? Yeah. <laughs> Love <the> Torchies. <laughs> 508 now, let's head over to meteorologist Matt Bernardo. That is funny. She going? made talk. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> there we go. Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me, now you don't. Oh, okay, one more time. No, okay. Of the many newscasts That's he's funny. anchored, this is the one where anchor Jonathan Cooper finally had the chance to ask the question no one was asking. Do you ever wonder how a llama would wear pants? I've never, I've mm, never wanted that in my have. life. Here's how. Yeah. Uh, the, here yeah, is I've how, seen that look picture, at this, yeah, a llama attended a wedding as a groomsman and the pictures are hilarious. The bride wants to own a llama farm someday, <laughs> so like her mother surprised though. the yeah. couple on the big day. The well, llama clean. named Jay got to take part Jay. in the ceremony and was a huge hit with the newlyweds and guests. <laughs> This is courtesy of Llama Bro, Adventures on Facebook. Who shared this great story of love. So thank you to Llama Adventures for <laughs> gracing us with. It's, it's, it's amazing he was able to stand up like that. The guy that had that to stand support. behind him. Look at that. That's. Are you serious? <laughs> are you? Are you? What do you mean? Are you joking? They, oh no. They, do llamas stand up like that normally? He's oh. on all four legs. The no. arms are fake. The arms are fake. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> Oh, Come on, bro. Hold on, damn. fam. He really I thought heard that. him, but I was hoping he wouldn't think saying what I... Damn, bro. Hey, ass, are you serious, bro? You serious right now? He was for real. You know, he was dead serious. Look hey. at that look. That's that look like, oh. Oh, brother. He said it's crazy that they can stand up like that, how much the support they get. Jeez, bro. The no. arms are fake. The arms are fake. <laughs> he oh. didn't know that oh. the arms was fake. I'm going to go ahead and uh, yeah, leave just, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah go, go clock ahead, out. bro. Clock out, bro. Clock out, bro. It's okay. I didn't see the back of them. <laughs> That's the whole point. You got your draft time. You got to yeah, minutes to Owasso and nine to Tulsa Hills and yeah, 15 minutes. Room. Just go. The library just knows how vital reading is to our kids, and he is happy to put his author there on his shelf. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Put his author there on the shelf. I'll can you want me to go? Okay. Uh, they are trying to make sure that every child develops an early love of reading because we know that is what we all want. Meanwhile, in Providence, Rhode Island, anchor Dan Janig can never be sure what's coming next or exactly where it's coming from. Uh oh. Goat gone viral. Take a look at this. A what? goat with a literal oh my wow. ponytail. Oh my goodness, what is happening? It's in the, I'm so yeah, <laughs> behind the I'm so horse. Good. I have so many questions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is a family show. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to be a little goat. <laughs> Bro, why is he? Yeah. What is going on? Stick to the script, it's weird. people. Okay, let me tell the people what happened. The animal was walking behind a pony on the farm, which was swishing its tail around, and as you can see, the hair got caught, got caught in its horns. Oh, the my farm gosh. owner says neither of the animals were hurt in this, but it was not easy to take apart. So he's apart. gonna let this. Well, just, it was just gonna sit here. She had Bro. one horn wrapped this way and the other horn wrapped the opposite way. It took me a couple minutes, but I was so happy I didn't have to cut his tail. Oh man, there are so many things we could say oh, about yeah, that video, a, but I think yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, lose our job. Man, I just had uh, we don't have any of the entangling, just but as you can jobs. see here, both of the yeah, animals did walk away cruel. unharmed. At least we're so. recording me. Right now, I bet he was looking like, if we all just, yeah, stop recording me. Luckily, I've never been tempted to, so it shouldn't be. Me either. Oh, well, uh -oh. Matthew, good morning. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh man, he getting that itch. <laughs> good morning. I, you know, I, okay, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on over there. I thought it was so great. I felt like yeah, Snow White during the teaser a few moments ago it. when the horse came over, was greeting me, and now this is a separate horse who <laughs> apparently has a different uh, ideas of how to make an appearance on live TV. Anyway, I'm not sure <laughs> if we can blur this or if we should blur this or what the FCC wants. But as well as <laughs> he was getting that itch, man. At Orchard View Farm, right it's line. clear that goats were also keen to see meteorologist Jesslyn Ferenc's predictions for Southwest Florida. Do a look outside across Southwest Florida and everywhere that you look, absolutely. What? <laughs> <Did> it... <laughs> I'm sorry.
sorry. There are baby goats right now in the studio. Those and I am not going to be able to do this. <laughs> All right, we're going to try our hardest, you guys. Blue skies across southwest Florida right now. Temperatures we are ranging on these in six? the upper 80s right now. <laughs> that one was Greg. Upper 80s right now and lots of sunshine. Some 90s on the board right now as well. Already feeling like... <laughs> I'm not supposed to do this, you guys. <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah, Greg, bring the goat so I don't look crazy right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Look how cute this little thing is. Already feeling like the triple digits in some backyards. <laughs> Plus, Gorda, feeling like 100 a degrees. Prime. This is absolutely the top. <laughs> <laughs> this is the craziest thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Hi, What's good? I know, it's hot outside, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. Only it's uh, hot. eight weeks old. Eight, eight weeks. <laughs> Put the AC on. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, it is hot, you guys. Cool off. <laughs> they going crazy. Right. <laughs> no, nah, they put the. They put the gun right there. But that's funny. <laughs> they literally just going back and forth right now. They're probably this communicating. Yeah. I'm going to have to probably do my main weather here in just a little bit. So uh -huh. I think we should probably oh, go no. to uh, head on over to them at the uh, ham real quick. And we'll do some weather here in just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that is These funny. memories will forever be. Take a knee. Damn. Bye-bye. <laughs> Damn, he was just, just right on there. Take a knee. Just walked right in the middle of the shot. Don't give a damn. Sometimes people don't be paying attention. Yeah, really, really bad. So hey, but hey, bro, those are some good moments. Bro. Mm -hmm. I love the news bloopers, man, because you know they're, they're real wholesome. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still on a dude that didn't know about the dog on uh, llama. Yeah, like, he's like, how is he standing up like that? Come on, man. What are you? He said that on live television. On live yeah. TV, bro. Yeah. Like, man. Yeah, he definitely is just going to have to go ahead and clock out. For he got some there. strength. Yeah. How does he do it? Like, bro, you all see his, the hands are sitting there the whole time. These are the people reporting on the news, man. Mm -hmm. Anywho, if y'all enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Make sure you don't have to like, subscribe. Hey, for sure. shout out to you guys for helping us get to 100K on the road page, man. For sure, for uh, sure. We led over there, so if you haven't, go on ahead and get over there. Road page, 100K. Mm -hmm. Let's run it up even more. For sure. Uh, second plaque coming in soon for the main page, third one. Uh, Including Ross and hey, me and Nisha gonna get ours as well. For sure. Uh, so make sure y'all keep on supporting, spreading love, being love. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.